This woman is the birdiest of birds and I'm in Costa Rica. I done seen some damn birds, okay? It doesn't matter to what end of the earth you go to. You can be in North America, Central America, the Middle East. I want you to understand one thing and your life will be tremendously better after you absorb this fact. There will never, ever be a shortage of stupid. If I could simplify my advice as a therapist into one sentence, it would be this golden one right here. Control what you can and never mind what you can't. I want you to take inventory about what about the situation actually is in your control. Now, when we are considering women like this, fellas, you cannot love a woman more than she loves you. If you give a woman all the power in a relationship and you are a purposeful man, a businessman, you handle things and you're a real leader, there's a high probability that, that woman is going to throw, throw you off your game. You're going to start losing. If that woman has all the power. I'm telling you, she's going to throw you off. She will damage you emotionally. So if you don't handle your business and, and stand on some business as a man and, and stay focused on what you need to focus on and let that woman love you as she was designed to do, you're gonna fall off. Now, when we're considering women like this, I want you to ask yourself, can I control this woman? Can I change her mind? Can I say something to her that'll make her completely reverse this entire message? Because this message really bothers me. The answer is no. She's honestly speaking to the pain points of a lot of men that refuse to take responsibility over their own lives and their lack of discernment. No one wants to hear that. As a mental health therapist and life coach, I've realized that a lot of people do not like taking accountability. And honestly, I understand why. Taking accountability means you're actually being honest with yourself. And we're talking about not just the good part, but the bad and also the ugly. And that's pretty hard to do. Taking accountability is hard because taking accountability means actually admitting that you have a part in the wrong that's been done to you. And let's slow that down. You have a part in the wrong that's been done to you. Now, if I'm in a relationship with Joe and Joe breaks my heart, I'm like Joe's a piece of shit. I want to talk shit about Joe. I'm going to go talk to all my friends about how Joe did me wrong. I'm going to listen to a playlist all about people doing me wrong. And I'm going to be like, Joe is the worst person on this planet. Now, I know part of this grieving that I'm experiencing. Do I want to be like... What part did I have in this? Where did I go wrong? Did I contribute to this toxicity? You don't hear people doing that. But unfortunately, that is the golden ticket. That is the golden ticket to your healing, except some people will never make it <laughs> to that part of the chocolate factory because they are not willing to look at themselves. Didn't Michael Jackson have a song about facing the man in the mirror? So in this video, this woman is talking about successful men, successful, purpose-driven men, high value men. Oh, we love that damn buzzword. High value men, that they should not love women more than women love them. I'm telling you something. And again, remember the theme of this video is stupid never runs out of stupid. Like it's, it's just a never ending supply of stupid when stupid is stupid. Stupid is as stupid does and stop trying to erase stupid because stupid is just, it is just is, stupid is, okay? She reduces women, and I want to be clear, she is, she's a woman. She's really talking to us about herself. She's telling us as a woman, Hey, I think less of myself, okay? I think so less of myself that I do not deserve an equally balanced relationship. I do not deserve to have a man love me just as much as I love him. Now, did you catch that? Before you and the peanut gallery started going off in the comments, I said, I want my man. To love me just as much as I love him. Not, I want my man to love me more than I love him because I'm trying to take advantage of him. Let's be clear. I am not catering to the city girls of the world. This is a message in support of the women like myself that intend to be reciprocal in a relationship and not just be receivers, not just take, 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 but also want to give, 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 give. But not from a place of, I feel less than, I am inferior to my male counterpart. And so then I shall love him more than he loves me. Well, I don't know what the fuck she's describing, but... No, thank you. She's putting herself in this category. She's making herself this lesser individual. She's putting herself in a tier below men where she must love them more because she believes that women will deter a man's success. A lot of people who believe in this framework really pull from the Bible and be like, well, this is how God wanted it to be. But there's actually a lot of biblical texts out there that supports the right woman will be just a blessing to her man. So I really just feel like this is already ungodly advice. To make matters even more interesting, this woman is married. 
I am just gonna leave that there. So what am I suggesting? I want us to imagine that there's this law called the one-to-one -one ratio when it comes to people and their partners. And it means that for every one person, they're equal abounds. And so for every bird, I want you to know that a beta exists for them, okay? This woman is the birdiest of birds and I'm in Costa Rica, I done seen some damn birds, okay? I know that the man she is with could not be the alpha male that women just just can't wait to be with in partnership it just it just can't be i want you to consider this analogy when you go to a restaurant and you order something you don't like you don't just march your way into the chef's quarters and start cussing him out you're not cursing out your waitress you're not calling up the hotel manager and you're like this risotto sucks you're like well, you know what i don't think i'm a risotto person I, i'll just try something else next time or i should have looked at the reviews for some reason when it comes to dishes we can take personal responsibility for ourselves just trying something that didn't end up working out but when it comes to relationships all of our responsibility goes out the goddamn window it's that person's fault they were shitty they hurt me they used me well hmm and as a therapist and life coach i hmm quite often i help my clients evolve by taking accountability and showing them another perspective so if i had a client and his name was sam and sam was like i hate the women in my life, they have all used me. My mother was abusive. And later on, he tells me about three ex-girlfriends that used him. One stole my Rolex. One came to my home and trashed everything after I broke up with her. Imagine Sammy's telling me all these horrible things about these degenerates, okay? I would be like, wow, that is really tough. And you sound like just such a loving and generous person. And I'm pretty sure a lot of men out there would agree with that. A lot of men will hear the story of how Trisha took Sam's Corvette and crashed it because she was pissed off that she didn't get the Birkin bag that she wanted and be like, she's the damn problem. And you know what? I will agree that she is not without fault, okay? Hear me on this. I will agree that she does not have strong morals and that she shouldn't be in a relationship with a man as generous and as kind as him. But you know what else we have to talk about? And there goes that A word. We need to take accountability. You mean to tell me that there are no signs from the beginning of that relationship that told you that she would be the type of woman that would end up in this scenario? And sure, people love to put up a good front. I love to tell my clients that in the first zero to four months of dating someone, they are in the zone I call the phone zone. And that means they phony baloney, baby. So do not overcommit to someone within the first zero to four months of dating because they are putting on their best foot forward. They are making sure you see the very best parts of them. And honestly, for a lot of us that really want love, partnership and companionship, we sometimes rush into these feelings of love and commitment and devotion within these these early stages because well, we just want partnership so bad we're not looking out for red flags but let's be real you thought her ass was six flags and you was just riding that thing and she was probably riding that talking about how someone did you dirty is one part of it the other part of it is i allowed that Woo! oh you saw what that sentence started with i yes kids repeat after me i allowed that and that sucks because saying that sentence means you have to look back at your actions and realize she didn't put a gun to my head and force me to be in this relationship with her. She didn't force me to put up with her tantrums when she exuded these qualities that showed me that she would be an absolute no from the go. I continue to entertain this. I, 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 I statements. So powerful in therapy and in life coach work because it means you're taking responsibility, which makes you actually feel empowered. A lot of people think, oh no, if I blame myself, then I'm gonna be, you know, this weak person. No, it makes you an absolutely strong person to realize, hmm, see where I went wrong there. I want you to think about how parents rear children. Whenever they make a mistake, they're like, oh, well, what'd you do there? Okay, you see how that went wrong? Well, that's okay, let's just try it again. It's the same approach, my guys. It's the absolute same approach. Consider just thinking about trying again using a different perspective. Absorb the wisdom from that past relationship and do something different. It is insanity to do the same thing over and over and over again and expect different results. The same applies when it comes to dating. I am not trying to fix stupid. I suggest that you don't either. Again, major takeaways of this video. Control what you can't, never mind what you can't. Stop trying to fix stupid. Stupid is as stupid does. Stupid is not changing in a dictionary. So please, when you recognize that someone is being stupid, and really, I'm just saying someone's being small-minded, very limited in their thinking, do not try to change them because you will exhaust yourself. And you're really going to be in the space of, I need to prove myself. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone. If someone comes to you in a dating experience and they're like, well, I think all men are dogs. Babes, you need to walk away. As a, as a, as a high-value man, you need to walk away. Matter of fact, never mind walk away. Run, run, run. 
Realize that there are hurt people, both men and women and everyone in between, that are not willing to take accountability for their lives. Do not let them project their story and their message of pain onto you. Accountability is the key to your healing. And if you need support in doing that, because let's be real, like I said earlier, it is difficult to do, hit me up. I'm here to support you. Check the link in the pinned comment for ways to get in touch with me and book your very own one-on-one -on -one session. Thank you for watching this video. Do check out the other ones that I have on this page and stick around for more content where I'm keeping everybody in this motherfucker real. Yo mama, yo daddy, yo granny, everybody, everybody in this bitch, okay? So that's it. Drop me some comments. Let me know how you feel. Do you agree? If you are in the camp of stupid, I'm sure you're gonna leave some stupid comments, but again, stupid Stupid as it stupid does. Let me know your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye. And took some more fucking accountability.